Hello and welcome to Video DNA, where the English is bad and the tutorials are good. I'm gonna be and today I'm gonna show you how you can make this slimy text effect. Yeah, that's just gorgeous. Actually, uh, this is a live text, uh, so you don't have to write here video DNA. You can actually write I love you and surprise romantically your girlfriend or even show what is going on inside your belly after we eat a damn burrito. Anyway, we're gonna go through creating this texture and this cool slimy appearance of the text. So let's get started. I'm gonna open a new comp and I'm gonna call it slime. And first of all, I want to create a new solid and I want to create the slime texture. So I'm gonna go to the cell pattern I'm gonna put it and I'm, first of all I'm gonna disperse it a little bit and now I want to create an animation so I'm gonna create four evolutions and in for that matter I want it to loop so actually it doesn't matter so much but I'm gonna cycle the evolution and I'm gonna call it to happen every four cycles and for it to loop perfectly I'm gonna take this keyframe I'm gonna alt right arrow and set it one frame forward and then it's gonna loop perfectly. Now I want to color this, so I'm gonna take hue saturation and I'm gonna put it on the layer and I want to check the colorize and I want to create a little bit more saturation and a little bit less lightness. So it's gonna look like this. So if I'm gonna create a texture from nothing, first of all I want to create a few levels of detail and first of all I want to take this a little bit further because it still looks like cell pattern. So now I'm going to call the turbulence effect. And I want to take the size down. I think maybe 10 would be good enough. And maybe check the amount, take it higher. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And now I want to create another level of detail. So I'm gonna take this germ layer and duplicate it. And now I want to go back to the cell pattern and I want to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna change the size from 60 to 30. And I want to go to the blending modes and check the multiply. And I want to take the opacity to 50%. So they're gonna blend a little bit better. And now I have another layer of, of detail and I want to duplicate it once more and I'm going to take the opacity even, even further down and I'm going to change the size to 15. So now I have three layers of details and this looks pretty good. Well, that's good enough. I'm going to take all of these three layers and I'm going to pre-comp them by pressing Control shift c and I'm going to call this slime animation perfect so now I'm gonna take the text tool and I'm gonna type video DNA it looks like Vedodna but it's not Vedodna it's video DNA which means ah, never mind anyway I'm gonna take this uh, layer and I'm gonna scale it down a bit and I want to maybe to blur it just a bit so it's gonna blend a little bit better and I want I think 10 is gonna be enough and then I'm gonna change it if I need to and now I want to create the slime effect which will make everything look a little bit more wet and slimy so I'm gonna open a new adjustment layer and I'm gonna take the CC glass effect I'm gonna put it over the adjustment layer this looks pretty awesome by itself but let's take this a bit further so I'm gonna go to the shading and I'm gonna take the specular up so I have more specular and I'm gonna take the metal down so every little bit of specular will be white and bright I'm gonna take the roughness down so it's gonna be 0 0.004 and I don't see a lot of speculars so I'm gonna go to the light and instead of a distant light I'm gonna take a point light so now I have this little knob that I can take all over this place and put it wherever I want it and so it's gonna brighten up even 
further, I'm going to take the light height and take it to the maximum. Okay, so I like it. It looks okay. Let's go to the surface and go to the softness and take it just a little bit down. And now, instead of egg yolk, I have something a little bit more wet. Yeah, that looks pretty gruesome. And I want this to be blending even better, so I'm going to go to the opacity. Take it just a little bit down so I can see a little bit of details behind the video. And this is starting to work pretty awesomely. So I can take this a bit further and I'm going to go to the displacement effect, displacement map effect. I'm going to put it on the text layer and I'm going to take the slime animation as the displacement map layer and everything will move accordingly. But the coolest thing is I want the text to appear. So I'm going to make sure that the text layer is selected. I'm going to type image and I'm going to take the CC image wipe, which is pretty cool because I can go to the gradient, ask for the layer that's going to take the data from and now the text will fade in or fade out by the luminance of the slime animation layer, which is pretty cool, but it's in reverse because I want it to come through all of these little slimy valleys. So I'm going to inverse the gradient and now I have exactly what I wanted. So it doesn't have to be this accurate. I can change the border softness and I can change maybe the blur. But anyway, this looks cool enough. So I'm going to take it until it disappeared entirely. And I'm going to create a keyframe on the first frame. And after three seconds, I'm going to take the completion down until I can see everything. And then I will take it just a bit back. So the transition will not complete entirely. So everything will go like this. It looks like this. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it is. It, it is horrible. It's supposed to be horrible. If it looks disgusting, it means that we're doing a good work. Anyway, so now it's fading in by the colors or actually by the luminance of the slime animation. And if I want to take it even a bit further, I can create another adjustment layer. And on this adjustment layer, I'm going to put the curves effect. And I'm going to take down the brightness until everything looks a little bit more bloody. So now I'm going to take the mask tool. I'm going to mask out the video DNA. And I'm going to subtract it and feather it by pressing F and dragging until I got something that I like. Well, this looks awesome enough, but you cannot end this without a little bit of camera movement. So I'm going to make the text and the slime animation layers 3D. And I'm going to go to layer. I'm going to create a new camera. I'm going to press OK. And in the end, I want it to look like this. I'm going to go to the position of the camera. And in the beginning, I'm just going to go inside and maybe take a little bit of an angle and try not to reveal that this layer is pretty small. And I have this little bit of breathing, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to make this keyframe easy as in. And I have this animation. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. And look at those detail. I have this little membranes that contains even smaller membranes. It looks like brain matter or maybe bowel movements. Anyway, I can change the color even to green, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to let you play with it. And you can change the settings until it looks perfectly as you want it. And if you want, you can go and make this a little bit more sick. So you can go and take even a little bit of yellow colors, just a bit of yellow. So it's going to look like it's infected with something. Well, no, I'm not going to do it. You're going to do it. Well, anyway, I want to remind you that we have a really cool site and you can go through the tutorials and you can support the site and buy the products. They're really cool 
and gonna save you tons of time. Um, you can like us on Facebook and can follow us on Instagram or you can subscribe to us on YouTube so you'll be updated with everything and I mean everything. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something even though it's a little bit of gross and I'll see you next time.